Hello everyone, it's Mark here. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful, quirky, fun little snowflakes using part of the Checkmates range. And this time, we're going to be using what's called the Quadra tiles. So as you can see, these are a six millimeter square by two millimeters wide, and they have four drill holes in the four corners and they're a really versatile shape to use and just treat them like you would do a double drilled but just with that added benefit of being able to do more incredible designs. And what I really like about the quadra tiles is depending on how you use them you get these amazing three dimensional effects and uh, they're really clever little beads and because they're part of the Checkmates range they're guaranteed to be able to work side alongside all of the other beads in the range because the drill holes are positioned in the same size. A lot of the beads are six millimeters, so it's a, it's a beautiful range and, uh, and I really, really enjoy working with them. So I'm gonna show you how to make these amazing little snowflakes. So I've popped them on a necklace here in an ombre color scheme, but you can also use them individually as earrings or on the bottom of a chain as a little pendant or as a key ring fob. They're really quirky little fun little beads. And uh, you need 12 altogether to make one of these little snowflakes and either 12 of the same color or six of each. So I'm going to use two colors. I'm going to go for the green, which is a beautiful turquoise green, and the gold. So two different types of quadra tiles. And then for this, you'll also need two sizes of Mayuki beads. You will need an Ato, which I've used this beautiful gold, and then this sort of um, apple green metallic galvanized bead in an 11 -o. So let's get started. I'll just pop that to one side. Now my thread I'm using is a white fire line and I've threaded already onto a size 12 tulip needle. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose our interior colours. I'm going to go for the green. So just pop those to one side a second. So what you're going to have to do, it doesn't matter how you pick them up, but you're going to pick up an eight, one of your quadra tiles, and you can do that six times. And as I've mentioned in previous demonstrations, when you're using multi-hold beads, just check before you start your project that all of your holes in your beads are nice and clear. It only takes a couple of seconds, but it's definitely worth, worth it in the long run. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we don't need to stop a bead because we're going to be tying a loop. So there's your six quadra tiles and your six eight o's. So again, I'm going to tie it in a single knot, first of all, followed by a double knot, pulling nice and tight. Now this tail will be cut off in a couple of rounds, so it doesn't have to be too long at this point. Pull that nice and tight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew away from the knot, so I'm going to go through the 8 and then I'm going to sew through the quadra tile. And can you see now, if I pop these upright, at the moment we have got, we've got a, an 8 along the bottom of the bead. Okay, so we've got this top end is, is still free. So what we need to do, we need to bring those two sides together with another row of 8 O's. So what I'm going to do is I'm currently exiting through this corner of the quadratile here. I'm going to thread bridge up to get to the outside. And again, I like working anti-clockwise, so I'm just going to flip my work over. So what we're going to do next is to make sure we want it to get it all nice and neat. So you just fold your quadra tiles down so they're facing the right way. And again, using the eight O's, we're going to fill the gaps. So I'm going to go in again into the interior of that quadra tile because we're just bringing the two sides together, like so. And we're going to move across, just position the tile, fill the gap with an eight through the interior hole. Now, even though there are four holes on these bees, it's, it's just repetition. So once you've, you've got the, uh, the project in mind, it's simply just adhering to the rules of beading and repetition, which is probably one of the main reasons that I love beading. We're going to go all the way around and just, just keep an eye on the shape that's now looming. So again, going to go into the interior, pull that through. 
you can really see it starting to take shape. Let's go into the interior. If you do happen to go through the wrong hole, it will stand out like a sore thumb. So it's quite a, an easy technique to get to grips with. So I'm going to go through, just through the, the quadratile. So it's a bit of a wiggle, there we go. So then when I pull that through, nice and tight, we have our interior snowflake shape, as you can see. So I'm going to cut that tail off at this point. So if you want to, you can reinforce by sewing all the way through, but uh, I won't do that on the demonstration. So what I'm going to do now is I'm exiting through this interior hole here. So I'm just going to get away from that. I'm going to go through an 8 and the quadratile, and I'm going to step up to the outside edge. So I'm just going to step up like so. Okay, so if I show you now, we have the two eight O's on the inside, and I've got two holes. I've got a left hole and a right hole. So I'm coming out of the right hole towards me. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to pick up an eight O, followed by my second colour quadratile. I'm going to go for a gold. Then I'm going to pick up three eleven O's. Slide that down, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position it because what I want to do is I'm coming across to fill in the gap. Can you see? So I'm coming out of the eight. I'm going into the right-hand side of the quadratile because I want it to sit flat alongside the gap. So I'm going to go down through the right-hand side of the quadratile, which gives you a little arc over the top of the gold, and then I'm going to pick up an 8 and I'm going to sew into the next green quadratile. So then when I pull nice and tight, can you see we've got a little, little cap over the top, but only on one side. So obviously we're just going to continue all the way around on that same side. So I'm going to pick up an 8, a, a um, gold tile, slide that down. I'm going to position it in the right place so I know I'm coming onto the outside. So I'm going to pick up three of my little green 11s. So one, two, three. I'm going to slide down its neighbouring hole. I pull that through nice and tight. I'm going to pick up an eight and I'm going to sew through into the next green space. So then when I pull that nice and tight, it's sat in the right position so that we know we're on the right course. So we're going to pick up an 8, a gold, slide it down, pop it into its right position. So obviously the wrong position would be facing out of the circle, whereas the right position is facing in. I'm going to pick up three 11s. Oops. One, two, three elevens. I'm going to sew down through the right hand side. Pick up my eight, sew into the next green. Then when I pull, it's in a nice rest right position. We're going to continue that on the other sides. So one, two, sliding it down so it sits in position. Pick up three elevens, down through the right hole, then pick up an eight into the next green quadratile. So pull through. You can see, already see what it's going to be looking like. Let's bring some more of those across. So eight gold. Slide down, pop into position. Pop on three green elevens, down into the gold. See your little 
arch, pick up an eight into the gold. And then we'll just do our last one of this round. So last time, eight, gold, quadratile, pop it into position, pick up three elevens, down through the gold side. And we're going to pick up an eight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through that hole and make sure we get that tangled up. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to sew through that little arch of 11s that I've had in position. Okay, so if I just lay that down, you can see now that we've got... Let me just backtrack a little bit there. Because what I didn't do is I didn't sew through the green. There we go. I thought it wasn't sitting right. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go up through the eight and then through the green little section on the top. And then what I'm going to do is, can you see I'm, at, I'm going down through this green 11, I'm going down through the gold and to the inside, pulling that nice and tight, and then it's a bit fiddly, I'm going to flip the gold over and I'm going to thread bridge across to get to the outside of the gold. Like so. Okay, so I'm now on the outside of the gold. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same on the interior side, but this time we're going to incorporate the 11s that we've already used. So we have three here. I'm going to pick up one 11. I'm going to sew into the middle of that group of three. And then I'm going to pick up an 11. And I'm going to sew down into the remaining hole. So what you'll get, you'll get a group of five beads that's very reminiscent of a five on a on a dice. And I'm going to pick up an eight. I'm going to sew down into the turquoisey green quadratile. So you can see now that we've got a little triangle of eight so we know that we're doing that correctly. Okay, so we've got our first completed edge on the outside. So I'm exiting through this green quadratile. I'm going to pick up an eight. I'm going to sew up through, which will bring that nice and tightly together onto the snowflake. I'm going to pick up one. I'm going to go across into the middle of that group of three. I'm going to pick up an 11. I'm going to sew down into the remaining hole on that gold quadratile. So that will give us our group of five. And I want to join it to the green, so I'm going to pick up an eight and sew through. That brings the second nice and tightly and neatly together. I'm going to pick up a gold and up through the quadratile. I'm going to do our group of five, so I'm going to pick up an eleven into the middle of the group of three. Pick up one to the remaining corner. Pull that through. So that's our next group of five. We're going to attach the gold to the green by using an eight. So that's our next little section finished. Pick up an eight. We're always going to pick up an eight to bring in the next gold quadratile section. So eleven into the middle. 11 to the outside. Pick up a gold to join them together. Again, pull nice and tight. Pick up a gold up into the quadratile. Pick up an 11 
to make the five. And then down. We need to do our last one. So we're going to pick up an eight. We're going to join them together. Pick up an eight to attach the next section. We're going to finish our last group of five. So we're going to go across to the middle of the three. We're going to pick up the next. Go down. So it's our last group of five. Get to pick up a gold to join the last green together. And then we're going to pick up a gold to join the last quadratile section together. Just have a wiggle through. Again, pull nice and tight. So there's our completed little snowflake from start to finish. And then what we're going to do just to finish off is I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go behind the middle of that group of five. I'm going to pull my thread, size of a grape, once, twice, make sure the knot sits nice and neatly in the center. And I'm just going to sew away from the knot. So you don't have to sew through many, you just want to get away from the knot. Place that down, then we're going to cut off our little tail. So that's our completed little quadratile snowflake design. And to turn it into a little necklace or a pair of earrings, all I've done is I've taken a thread and I've used the middle of that group of five that we so carefully beaded. And I've taken a thread through that middle group and then I've beaded either side with a selection of matching beads just to make the uh, completed necklace. So as I said, I've used the individual for a necklace. You can use them as a pendant, you can use them as earrings. And if you wanted to, you've got to this point now where you can maybe pop a quadratile in between and then start another round or pop in two in its place or even another three to make more stars. So as you can see, you can join them all together quite beautifully and uh, it's a really lovely little technique and again really nice for using your odds and ends of your beads. So this is your Checkmates Quadratile Beaded Snowflake design. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you soon. Bye!